Alright guys, I kind of switched stuff around. I, I closed the door. I know that's not good when I'm going to be spray painting, but um, you guys couldn't see hardly anything from what I could see, so we're going to try this from where I am now. I've got to um, finish putting the newspaper on and then uh, finish uh, yeah, making sure everything's masked off and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and start spray painting and um, hopefully this thing will stay on because my computer freaked out. So let's get this started again. <coughs> What I'm using is Krylon Fusion um, for plastic. It, uh, from what I heard, it works with paint or on uh, glass. So um, that's what I'm going with. And I'm sure it'll do just fine. I'm going to go ahead and get this all taken up and get ready to start spraying. Alright, I'm going to let this dry for like 15 minutes or so. It's not long it's supposed to take, but I'm going to just let it dry 15 minutes so I can do another coat. And um, I'll get back to you. Alright everybody, it's been a little bit longer than 15 minutes. I thought I just let it go for a little while. Um, I went ahead and brought a little heater down here. It's sitting up over, over there. Just to uh, help out in my... Um, garage. It's a little uh, chilly out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the second coat. And um, this time I'm gonna rotate the little head on here so it's sideways, so I can spray up and down this time. That way I'm kind of cross gritting it every time I do it. So this way I'm not just doing it all one direction. I'm going this way as well, just to make sure I kind of grid it into itself, which kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and do this one this way. All right, my second coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for another 15-20 minutes. 
And uh, I'll get back to you. Boom. Crap my fusion. Get it done. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh it's been another 15, 20 minutes or so. Um got some more spray paint, so I'm gonna probably do one more coat just to make sure. And um go the opposite direction again. Even though I was kinda going every direction, but I'm gonna do do it one more the same way so that way uh it looks better, I guess, because it's long ways instead of short. So, uh, go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, strip the all the stuff I put on here just to um, just so the paint doesn't like if I start pulling the tape off, start ripping all the paint off that I just did. So um, I'm going to take it off now because it's still a little wet, so it has time to uh, dry as a straight line. So I'm going to just start ripping this tape off. Alright, so I'm back. I'm holding my tripod, so it's, if it seems a little sketchy, that's why. Um, as you can see, all the way around is painted. Over there. Yeah, all the way around. On this side, which this is actually the bottom panel down here, so it's kind of it's sitting up on the front of it right now. Um, this is the back wall panel, and I. Uh, went ahead and like put a little section where I can actually put a lamp or a light or something right here plus I can see back in there just to see um, if there's any problems or anything like that and uh... that's what I got there let me go around to the front show you so I can do this and I can get my cord all like black um, here's the uh, opening um, there's very minimal, like, overspray up here, which I'll probably end up cleaning that off if there is. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but, um, that's what it looks like. This is the inside of the tank. Just put my hand there. And that's my hand right there. Um, so I'm going to let this dry for a while, and, uh, and go from there. If you guys like it so far, back to you. See ya.